Hey everybody. I know a lot of you guys are using, uh, a lot of us guys are using stones that are uh, different thicknesses. Diamond stones, ceramic stones, here's a translucent. Uh, one of my original prototype Trocerus, it's actually got a uh, aluminum backer on it. That thing's like three eighths of an inch thick. And the question has always been, when I switch from this stone to this stone to this stone and then the thickness changes, how do I adapt? adjust my angle to compensate for that and it's always been a pretty simple rule um, you either color your bevel with a marker again and every time and 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 reset which is eh, it's not that bad but it's inconvenient or you use an angle cube and then especially with the sharp brush sitting on the base that's rocking a little bit so it's hard to get accurate so we've actually come up with a uh, a stone thickness compensator attachment that goes right on the sharpener and will solve all those problems. Um, uh, you're going to have to do just a little bit of work. All you need is a screwdriver, um, standard number two Phillips, and uh, I'll show you how to change it. Okay, this is the, uh, the stone thickness compensator. Okay, take a look at this. It's got a little pinch clamp on the back. The whole thing just fits right on your sharpener. You pinch it open, slide in from this side, bring it around, set it right on there like that. Do it again so you can see. Oh, it locks right in place. You can slide it up, down, whatever. But we need to change this plate to this plate. And that's what we're talking about with the screwdriver. So, real simple. Take the compensator off. This screw is put in there with some Loctite, so it'll be a little bit difficult. Just barely loosen that knob on the back, because if it's tight, you'll never get the screw loose. But you want this frame for support. Well, you just turn this, pop that screw loose. See, it's going to be tight. And then once it's loose, now we can take the knob off the back. It's easier to take out if you leave it in the sharpener because that holds it from twisting on you. At least till we get to this part. Then the last couple thread, you can see how the two parts thread together there. See that? In the front, that was there. We're just going to take that screw completely out. Okay. And we're going to take this, oh, this one's being a little more stubborn than usual. This, you should be able to unscrew by hand. And when you get the thickness compensator, it will come with an additional front plate, the second, the second piece. And we're just going to put that right back on in the same way. Now with the ball facing up, you want the arm, the long arm sticking off to the right not to the left. Don't do it this way. That won't work. So you just line up the holes. Put the screw back in there. Yep. It's real easy when the camera's not running. Get it started. Then with your screwdriver, crank it. Don't tighten it. Just get it close. Now, as you approach, right there, we're starting to get tight. See, this is out of square. We need this to be lined up right when we tighten it down. So drop it back in your sharpener, and just make sure that it slides up and down. Sometimes this can be cranked over to one side or other, and it'll drag, you know. So I typically would start with by pushing the, the ball and the upright piece over that way, because when I tighten that screw, it's going to want to come over this way a little bit. That's it. And just like I said, make sure this slides up and down. Yep. We're good. And you just put your back plate back on. And your knob back on. And it still works the same as it always did. And we just have an arm sticking out to the side. Okay. So, how does it work? Well, that's a uh, KME Gold Series 300 grit stone. And I use it normally, colored to bevel. 
down the angle and use this. This was my first stone that I used to set that bevel. So this is the stone that we're going to use. Whatever stone you use first, that's the one you use to set your stone thickness compensator. I'm going to take this out. We're going to put the stone thickness compensator on here. We should probably do that so you guys can see it. Comes in from the side. This goes on there like that. Then we're going to take, and start low. Start low, because we know this is the angle. It's already set. Take your 300 stone, set it right on that shelf. Then just pinch the lever, release it, and bring it right up till it hits that arm. See how that just is a nice, just touching. That's our baseline. Now from that point forward, we move the angle, not the thickness compensator. So, Kyle, let's see uh, what angle do we have right now with the, our original. I'll put the 300 stone back in. You can maybe zero your your phone. Bubble level, or no, I'm sorry, Level Gold. It's a great app for iPhone. I'm not sure if you can get it for Android or not, but it's the one we use. Zero. We use zero. All right, I'll put the uh, 300 back in there that I just used. You tell me what's the angle. Twenty three point two. Twenty three point two, and that's that's the angle that the ink told us to set the sharpener at. So, and this is the stone that we used to do it. So, now we also use that same stone to set the angle thickness compensator. Now, say we were gonna, for some reason, go to this thinner ceramic. First thing you do, loosen your angle. Raise it up, set the ceramic on the shelf, and just drop it down until it touches, and lock it in. Now we're getting ready to use that, just to double check. See what you got this time, Kyle. Twenty-three point two. How is that possible? Perfect. All right, let's try another one. This is my uh, giant bulldog Chelsera, three eighths of an inch thick with a aluminum backer. But so what we have to do is loosen the angle again. This is the stone I'm getting ready to use. Set it in there. Oh, make sure it sits on the shelf nice. And then just lower your angle down until it touches. Tighten it up. Pull that stone out. Put this in. Now we have a much thicker stone. And what do you see on the angle, Kyle? 23. 2 tenths of a degree off. Unacceptable. Ah, that's how it works. So you can, like I say, if we just did three stones there, and the worst we were off is 2 tenths of a degree. Um, but, uh, yeah, it works really well. And they'll be available real soon on the website. So thanks very much.